Okay, so now if you see guys in our data, we have everything like the ID, the product, the weight, the image, the price, the quantity, and the expiry date. And if you go back to app sheet, I also put the images for each product. So let's go to synchronize it again. And we just wait for a sec and we have all the images loaded. So as you see here, we have such a cool app with the first page, like uh, the name is Sheet1, but we're gonna change the name here. So I'm gonna show you how to change the name because it doesn't look that good. Uh, I think you just need to go to the data and more rename and let's rename it to maybe product. Let's see if it works. Save. I don't know if the name is here, should be here or no, but I hope it's here. Okay. Uh, okay, I didn't change anything. Maybe from here. Okay. Okay, maybe you click on sheet one and then you go to edit. So here is to, ah, okay, view name. So it's here. And from view name, you're gonna use the name that you want. In my case, I'm gonna put pro product. Product, and as you see, we have one page named product. And okay, we have a card view. We can also add a table view, for example, uh, primary navigation. Let's add a view. And okay, let's just create a new view. Okay, new view. Uh, we, we are not gonna call it a new view, but like table. And the name will like it's gonna take the the data from product table also. Here we can choose where which data from which data you can take the information. And basically, if we add another sheet, it's gonna be appearing here. And we're gonna add it as a table. And I wanna put it to last. So table is in the last, okay. And we can add a sort, so let's sort it by numbers, ascendings. And in here we have the column order, so you can change the order. So I'm gonna make it a bit wider so that it's more comfortable to use. And I'm going to click on save. 